Well, this is our first feature presentation. Uh, this is actually what we kind of planned from the start of doing. Uh, we're doing what I like to call an MST3K riffing of a video game, for anyone who's ever seen the television show. It's a little different from a commentary. Uh, in a commentary, like what we've been doing with the walkthroughs, uh, it's more of a, a discussion of what's going on, observations. Uh, however, what we're planning on doing with this project is, is more of making comments about what's being shown, uh, almost a heckling of what's being presented. Uh, really, for those not familiar with Mystery Science Theater, it's one part satire, a part sarcasm, and, and just a, a bit of plain meanness involved. But uh, it's an interesting style. Well, I've always been a huge fan of the series. In fact, from the beginning. Uh, early, well, before the PlayStation even, I, I was getting every single game right as they came out. And continued to do so all the way up until X2, this game. Uh, I heard about how horrible it was. And so I was a little scared about venturing into that particular purchase. I finally got it, and really I was not disappointed in my expectations of it. Uh, <laughs> it. I was very disappointed with the game. It had got good reviews from popular critics, which surprised me, but I, I, I've discovered that it, it's because those critics gauged the game based on the mechanics of the game, which in, in themselves are not bad. Uh, what makes this game so bad is comparing it to the other Final Fantasies, it doesn't hold a candle. And even other story-driven games, which have set a precedence uh, in, in, in modern-day gaming, it's really horrible compared to those. The, the plot, the story, the characterization, they all pale in comparison to what a good game would consist of. Uh, yeah, uh, there's a number that come readily to mind. I'm planning on actually doing a video on it. Uh, here are just a couple I can think of right now. Uh, first of all, the cast. Uh, three females, and that's it. Now, I'm not trying to sound sexist by saying that, but the, what makes other Final Fantasy and RPGs work is that they deal with people and their personal fights. Not just the physical saving the world, fighting evil, but they have to battle their inner demons. They have to deal with relationships with other people with their teammates and so forth. It makes it realistic. We feel for the characters. It's like reading a good book. You, you get into the individuals involved. Well, X2 just... It's more like watching an episode of Charlie's Angels, in all honesty. There, it, there's very flaccid development. It's very bland and underdeveloped in characterization. It's just really not believable. Uh, another example, the secondary characters, the ones that aren't part of the main party. Uh, they cross over a lot of characters from Final Fantasy X. This game is a sequel to Final Fantasy X. And some of the, the carryovers are well done. Some of the characters are very believable as they were in the previous game. But there are others which... It's almost like the developers didn't even play Final Fantasy X. Uh, they don't resemble at all the characters from the predecessing game. Uh, one, one individual, Isaru, for instance, in Final Fantasy X, a very mild, kind, mature character who helps Yuna, the main girl, out uh, emotionally in, in some cases be because his goal is the same as hers. In X2, he just comes across as a loud tourist guide. Uh, and, and in fact, we'll, we'll come across that in one of the later episodes, but it just, it's an almost a polar opposite of what he was in X in the first game, Final Fantasy X. Uh, so you've got those two. Uh, one of the biggest things that always has st stood out to me, about 80% of the way through the game, everyone's looking for a place to, to gather all the people of the land together for this event. Uh, the land's called Spira. And they're trying to find the biggest place they can. That's their criteria. And I'm sitting here as a character playing this game, and I, I know all the lands because, again, this is a sequel to 10. I'm thinking to myself, okay, there's one place that works perfectly for that. In fact, they've discussed it in the past that it's a place where everyone in the land can gather. But what's strange to me, it, everyone agrees that the only obvious place is this other area called the Thunder Plains, which is not only small but also dangerous. 
And once you get there, you, you quickly realize that the reason they picked this place was for a contrivance of plot. There's plot reasons why everyone has to be at this place, and it was just very poor writing, I felt. It, it just was lazy. And, I mean, from that point forward, I just was hanging my head in shame. Well, I'm planning on releasing these as episodes, 30-minute uh, episodes, one a month. Uh, that works best in order to stick to a schedule. Originally, I planned on uh, an hour-long episode every month, but there's a lot to do in putting them together. I'm still in the process of splicing the original files to get them, first of all, and capturing them. Then I've got to go in and take all the, all the battles and all the non-essential things out, to make it nice and quick and concise, like you're watching a movie. Then i got to put it all together, fix the audio, then come up with the jokes and do, to do the riffing. You know, there's just a lot to do. In order to fit a schedule of one a month, 30 minutes would probably be the best to do. Uh, and so what that means is since YouTube allows 10 minutes per clip, each episode will be in three parts, but they'll all be released at the same time. Well... Uh, finally, this project is just going to be me at first. I have friends who do other movies with me, and we're going to post some of those later. But video games are not their forte. What I'm hoping is that once I've done a couple of these clips, they'll see how fun it is and will join me later. That'll be great. But in the meantime, um, you're going to have to put up with a lot of me. But I'm definitely looking for feedback. Let me know how I'm doing, what you think of the project as it goes, and uh, possibly your suggestions. I may uh, may see if I can find a way to work them into the clips. But uh, in any case, thank you very much for watching. And uh, we're going to look forward next month for Episode 1 of Final Fantasy X 2.